Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today and for your investment and confidence in First Energy. Thank you as well to the board and to my fellow employees. Your steadfast dedication to our customers and tremendous performance has helped transform First Energy. Today, we are a stronger, more resilient and innovative company with a foundation of integrity and a very bright future. Together, we are building a great story that I'm excited to share with you today. As you probably know, I was elected to this role last spring, and my first day on the job was June 1, 2023. I have a passion for the utility industry, where I've spent most of my career. First Energy appealed to me because of its progress, from a business and cultural perspective, and its strength and opportunities. These include an engaged and dedicated employee base, a fantastic business model substantially de-risked by being focused on wires, a constructive regulatory environment focused on customer affordability and reliability, and an opportunity to become one of the nation's premier electric companies. It's been a fantastic first year getting to know the people of First Energy and being a part of this transformation. And above all, it's an honor to be part of this team providing a service that is the lifeblood of modern living to our communities. The employees of First Energy don't just view their work as a job, it's a vocation that they take very seriously. They recognize that the essential service of electricity powers our daily lives. Without electricity, people can't come together in a connected workplace. They can't care for their children and elderly, feed their families, or keep themselves safe. This vocation and the service we deliver are more important than ever. Electricity demand is growing through the electrification of sectors like transportation, and home heating, as well as through large users like data centers. We share a mission to safely and effectively deliver electricity that strengthens our society and powers our economy. We also share a purpose to help First Energy become a premier electric company. I believe we can achieve this by keeping our mission foremost in front of us. To realize this goal, the board and executive management team are aligned behind a business model that has four components, investing, operating, recovering costs, and financing our regulated utility operations. This business model creates a virtuous cycle that will help improve reliability, grow rate base, engage employees, improve returns, and maintain a strong balance sheet. The model begins with investing. We invest in our infrastructure, the wires, transformers, substations, to enhance reliability and improve the customer experience. As a result of the excellent work we've done to strengthen our balance sheet, we're in a strong position for the first time in the company's history to grow and invest in the opportunities across our businesses. In February, we introduced Energize 365, a five-year, $26 billion investment program. Energize 365 is focused almost entirely on enhancing our wires businesses. About 75% of those investments are in rate structures that allow for rapid cost recovery. The program targets investments that improve the customer experience, maintain our strong affordability position, and provide a fair and reasonable regulated return for our investors. It solidly supports our 6 to 8% targeted annual operating earnings growth rate. About 45% of the capital program is in FERC-regulated transmission investments. This includes enhancing and upgrading the transmission system and adding operational flexibility. It also supports projects like offshore wind in New Jersey and new data center load. On the distribution system, it includes customer-focused investments like reliability enhancements, grid modernization, smart meter deployment, distribution automation, and energy efficiency programs. We also invest in our people to have skilled, trained, talented, diverse, and engaged employees who can carry out our mission. All of the outstanding new leaders we've welcomed to the team the past year are using their extensive experience to add value to our company. Along with the rest of the leadership team, they are committed to modeling our core values and behaviors to bring out the best in our employees and deliver the best for our customers, communities, and investors. Employees are the foundation of our company and their engagement and energy fuel our success. We're pleased that company pride has increased across the organization 
according to our latest employee engagement survey. We'll continue to build on our strengths by helping employees feel valued, instilling a sense of belonging in our workforce, and continuing to seek and respect employee opinions and contributions, as these are all drivers of engagement. A prime example of this successful engagement is the dedicated team of employees from our operating companies, bargaining units, workforce development, and human resources who are developing First Energy's new paid apprenticeship program for line and substation workers. Through their engagement, coupled with leadership support, we are creating a fresh, forward-thinking training program completely suited to our specific workforce needs. The next component of the cycle is operating. Running our business effectively and efficiently means prudently incurring expenses, serving our customers, and seeking opportunities to enhance the way we work. To support our mission of delivering a service that is the lifeblood of our communities, we must operate in a way that understands, respects, and responds to the needs of those communities. One way we're doing this is by shifting more of our operational decision-making and accountability closer to our customers, our regulators, and the employees doing the work. We've implemented a new operating structure that includes five major businesses, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, West Virginia and Maryland, and our standalone transmission properties. Each business is accountable for regulatory strategy and outcomes, as well as operational and financial performance. This structure will foster better execution at the local level, where it will make a difference for our customers. Operating effectively also means coming together when things are tough. When you look at 2023, the company was buffeted by a number of financial headwinds, including the significant effect of unseasonably mild weather. Our 12,000 employees aligned behind the things that we could control, managing costs, deploying capital to enhance the customer experience, and above all, seeking opportunities for continuous improvement in our cost structure and the way we work. Through these efforts, we not only overcame the headwinds, we increased our customer-focused investments, exceeded our guidance midpoint, and entered 2024 in a position of strength. We will continue to challenge ourselves and reward innovation because keeping continuous improvement at the heart of our culture is foundational to operating successfully and being a premier utility company. This brings us to the third stage of our cycle, recovery. Understanding the needs of our customers and delivering superior service builds supportive relationships with our customers, regulators, and local officials. This, together with positive engagement with all stakeholders, helps drive constructive rate outcomes that support recovery of our investments. We achieved several important regulatory milestones over the past year, including necessary increases in revenues through three base rate cases. These reasonable and constructive outcomes will fuel our investments in reliable and affordable service. This spring, we filed a rate case for our Pennsylvania operations and will file our Ohio rate case this month. Consistent with last year's filings, these address investments that benefit our customers through reliability enhancements and a smarter and cleaner electric grid while maintaining our strong affordability position. The fourth phase in our business cycle is finance. When we execute well on the first three components of the cycle, investing, operating, and recovering, our company becomes a compelling investment. This allows us to finance the business at a lower cost of capital and restart this virtuous business cycle all over again at Invest. We've completed important work over the last several years to strengthen our financial position so we can invest in our businesses. We've reduced costs through continuous improvement programs, reduced the risk associated with our pension plan, and optimized our financing plan to retain flexibility in a high interest rate environment. Most importantly, we entered into a series of strategic transactions starting in 2021 that raised a total of $7 billion in equity capital at a stock equivalent price of $87 per share. In other words, investors recognize the value in our business. Most recently in March, we closed on a transaction to sell 30% of our First Energy Transmission LLC subsidiary, raising $3.5 billion. 
This transaction was possible thanks to the First Energy employees whose hard work made FET a premier transmission business and to the teams that had the vision and tenacity to get the deal done. Because of this transaction, in the three months ended March 31st, the total equity on our balance sheet increased 25%. That is truly remarkable for a company of our size. Recognizing the significant impact of the company, both Moody's and S&P upgraded First Energy Corp's senior unsecured rating to investment grade. For the first time in the company's history, we have a strong balance sheet that enables organic investment in our regulated properties to improve reliability and the customer experience. Our stronger financial foundation supports our plan to fund our Energize 365 investments through organic internal cash flow and utility debt, not incremental equity. This represents an important differentiation from many of our utility peers. This healthier financial position also enabled us to enhance our dividend payout to investors. In September of last year, our board approved an increase in our quarterly dividend for the first time in more than three years. And in April, we announced a second increase. Subject to continued board approval, these increases represent an annual rate of $1.70 per share in 2024, a 6.25% increase compared to dividends declared in 2023. We recognize the importance of a strong dividend for our investors, and it's our goal to increase our dividend in line with operating earnings growth over time. Our goal is to continue impacting each phase of the cycle in a positive way to build on our momentum and benefit all of our stakeholders, serve our customers and communities, grow our business and provide rewarding careers for our great employees, make our regulators happy, and deliver strong results and returns to our shareholders. Together with our unwavering commitment to ethics and integrity, performance excellence, and continuous improvement, we are confident that strong execution of the virtuous business cycle model will help us achieve our strategic objectives and deliver value. Finally, at the heart of our business model and woven through each step of our virtuous cycle is our commitment to responsible business grounded in strong governance. We're committed to supporting our customers and employees and demonstrating strong stewardship of the environment and our communities. Every day I feel a deep sense of gratitude to be part of a team of employees who recognize our core values and embody them in everything we do. From how we work with each other, to our interactions with customers, and our outreach within the communities where we live and work. First Energy employees go above and beyond to help make our customers' lives brighter and our community stronger. The recent United Way employee giving campaign exemplified our core value of stewardship. In an impressive bottom of the ninth rally, First Energy employees help the company exceed our million dollar goal. Meeting this goal is a testament to the commitment, compassion, and ownership they feel as vital members of our communities to make a positive impact on those around them. This is further demonstrated by the nearly 28,000 hours employees spent volunteering in 2023. 2023 was also a strong year for charitable giving as First Energy and the First Energy Foundation contributed more than $10 million to help strengthen communities throughout our service territory. The foundation allocated nearly $2 million to over 300 organizations supporting programming for veterans, women and girls, people with disabilities, and minority communities. Investment in diverse organizations has grown from approximately 10% in 2018 to over 30% in five years including funding provided through the successful Investing with Purpose initiative. Our company and employees are committed to achieving our goal of carbon neutrality by 2050, and we're taking key steps to reduce greenhouse gas emissions within our operational control. In 2023, we partnered with the Electric Power Research Institute on a first-of-its-kind pilot, testing a new mitigation measure for reducing sulfur hexafluoride leaks from utility infrastructure. This innovative tactic can help First Energy and potentially our peer utilities 
reduce these emissions in the field going forward. Our commitment to sustainability extends beyond our operational activities. It's deeply ingrained in our culture. Since its inception in 2020, our employee-led green teams have planted more than 67,000 trees, focusing on economically depressed neighborhoods within our company's footprint. Responsible business is good business that helps us refine and execute our strategies, and it's a hallmark of excellent companies. We have a strong foundation, clear focus, and robust strategy to deliver long-term value to our shareholders, customers, communities, and employees. We're excited about our future. Thank you for being part of it.